object-oriented PHP begins with classes. Classes are synonymous with blueprints or templates. Classes are not supposed to be specifics. For example, we could create a post class. And we could give our post class a title, a description, and the ability to be able to be created by a user. And we would have to make this a function because it is behavior. Notice that we do not specify the specific title or the specific description within our post class. Instead, we create a blueprint, a template, something where we can create multiple posts from a class. A rule of thumb or common familiar knowledge when creating our classes we should be looking for nouns. Why should we be looking for nouns? Well, in the real world, let's take the example of a boat. A boat can turn, speed up, slow down, and even, if you're having a really bad day, sink. The boat is what turns. The boat has the ability to speed up. The boat has the capability of slowing down and on a really, really bad day, the boat is what sinks. We find the noun, and we name our class based on the noun. In this case, the noun is boat, so we create a boat class. Another example would be a directory. A directory can be moved, or we can move a directory. A directory can count its files, or count files of that directory. A directory can calculate its size, or how many bits it has. These are all things that we could possibly do with the directory. But, directory is our noun. So we create a directory class. Let's go over a few more quick examples. Let's say you want to create a blog. So we create a blog class, and that blog has several posts. Well, post in itself is a blueprint. As we went over earlier, it has title, description, and can be created by a user. So we create a post class. And how cool would it be if we could give the user the capability or ability to comment on a post? And just like blog or post, it is its own complex blueprint or structure. Comment is its own complex blueprint or structure or template that we want to create many specific instances of. So we create the comment class. Now let's narrow in on our post class. And let's just look at it really quickly. So earlier we created the public title. We created a description and we created a function or behavior on our post class that says, okay, a post is created by a user. I want to take a second to look at the public keyword on our post class. So public is what is known as a modifier or an accessor. There are three types of accessors. There is public, Anything can access this. There is protected. This title, when protected, can only be accessed internally or using this title. We couldn't new up a post, new post, and say, okay, here's our new post. Post object equals new post. We couldn't say post object title. It'll air out on us. See how that has a red squiggly below it? Well, that's because we have protected the title. It is only accessible internally. But if this is public, we can access it outside of the class. And so we can do title equals 
cool article or post title. The difference between protected and private would be this. Private is only accessible within the class itself, within the brackets. Private can be accessed using this. And so can protected. Neither can be accessed externally. New description like that. They'll both air out. So protected and private, you cannot directly access them publicly or externally from the class. But you can access both protected and private within the class, within the functions of the class. So what's the difference between protected and private? Well, let's say we created a new child class of our post class and we called it, I don't know, video post and we just said okay public function and then we just did created by again for the sake of maintaining this example and we said okay this title equals hello world or video post this description equals video post well, it won't give us the red squiggly lines. Oh, we actually need to extend post. It will give us the red squiggly lines. But notice that this title is able to be set. This description is not able to be set. The difference between protected and private is this. They are both accessible internally to the class using this where private or protected is initially defined. However, when you extend that class to a child class, video post is the child class of the post class, then private is not accessible. The child class will extend the protected properties and protected methods. The child class will not extend the private properties or private methods if we were to change this to private. So, that is the difference between the private, protected, and public modifiers or accessors. Next, we will be getting on to objects. So guys, if this was useful, if this was easy to follow and understandable, like and subscribe. And in the next example, we will be moving on to objects, instances, constructors, and just creating objects from our classes, creating instances or implementations from our blueprints. So thanks again, guys. Simple.